Stop doing that. I'm gonna get you back so bad here. I'm so sorry. That straight gut punched me. You don't know nipples. Ow, what are you keeping that? Told you. Bricks. Bricks. I count. So yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought I was going to lose you there. Ah, oh, my sunglasses. Are you filming us? Good job, buddy. Today, we are going to go to the sea lion caves, okay? Now, uh, I've been to the ape caves. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if, if, if there's actually seals there or not. Because the ape caves didn't have any apes. I was, I was very disappointed. We just got to the sea lion caves and it's it looks very commercialized, but I think it'll still be pretty cool. There's gonna be sea lions and apparently it smells weird, which I can imagine why it smells weird. Yeah. Jump. Mm. Wow, look at that view. Take in that fresh air. Ah, ah, ah. That is pretty foul. Smell those sea lions. America's largest sea cave. Congratulations! We're gonna go see the sea lions. Enter. I wanna have a beautiful one. He says. <laughs> oh, so adorable. There's those smelly bastards there. Those are some smelly birds. Those are birds. I need, I need to get my eyes checked. Oh, there's one right there. What is that? Yeah, I see a... Oh, it's so fast. Your elevator takes you to... I thought it was supposed to be on the other side. The sea cave. This was just supposed to... Sea Lake is up. America's largest sea cave. It is naturally formed underground. In we go. Keep your fingers uh, out of the door. All right, what floor? Risky, risky, Tyler. I hey, I live my life on the edge. Apparently. Did you see fish? I think she probably had her. She was like, I don't know. All right. This is straight up. Let me see. Sterling. Wow! Look at this place. That is a uh, sea lion bones. Don't touch it. It is not a sea lion. Sterling, it's fossils. This is so cool. Look at this cave. They're all flinging around down there. Look how cool that is. Wow. This is super cool. What's awesome is this is, I mean, it's like a zoo almost, but not. These are their, in their natural, they're wild. So many crazy noises. Yeah, I mean, this is like all cave, just sort of, sort of industrialized a little bit, but still really cool. Here's a female stellar sea lion. Bones. You can tell it's a female by the way it is. Oh, 
Oh, those are uh, those are dead babies. I don't have zoom capability. That's excellent. There's dead baby birds there, and then there's a dead seagull over oh, there. Oh man, uh, Carol food right there. You wasted right that one quarter. <laughs> yeah, it's a treacherous place. Nature is a fickle bitch. <laughs> nature, mother nature, damn nature. Yeah. Well, uh, what, what's going on over here? here? He's gotta go. He's gotta go. We're like 200 feet underground, bro. There's no well, toilets. That's true. There's I mean, no toilets. All down the, there. all the. I mean, it smells like a toilet down here. It's out of this or he pisses his pants. <laughs> there's dead birds everywhere. Crap everywhere. Look at there's there's a sea of poop out there. It is. It stinks. I, I think this little. Con I think this little contribution is not gonna hurt much. No. You all done? Okay, great job. Father father of the year. <laughs> Desiree got peed on. Hold him. So martyred myself. Taking taking hold of the, the pee baby. You think after two kids I've learned how to carry a diaper bag, but Oh no, no, we 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 pals pack light. Doggies, stay. Wait, wait, wait. Go potty. Go potty, dogs. We are somewhere in Oregon on the 101 Highway, the scenic byway, if you will. We're taking the long route, and it's it's considerably longer, but. It feels more adventurous. I like, don't recognize any of this area. It's windy. There's super scenic. I mean, it's beautiful. And uh, it's just all around a more enjoyable trip than uh, just sitting on I-5, which is like the big highway that we would always take and sitting in traffic. I hate Portland. I hate Portland ever since I got robbed. I mean, I like Portland. It's a really cool city, but I freaking hate it at the same time. And so we just wanted to avoid Portland. And so it was worth it to us to just take the scenic byway and just explore. I'm loving it, just loving it. Seems weird as shit, but I just love traveling barefoot, walking around, exploring cool places, just stepping on hypodermic needles. All right, I gotta pee. Where can I pee? The uh, trailer setup is just doing awesome. I'm so glad we got the new tires. It tracks better, it doesn't bounce as much because the sidewalls are actually supporting the weight, whereas before it wasn't. But everything's looking good, real solid. Really, really solid. It's doing well. Before we uh, carry on, I'm going to climb down here to this river tree to take a little look. This is what I like about traveling when you have no deadlines. You can just do whatever you want. I'm gonna climb this tree and pee off of it. Ugh. Oh, you big, you big mossy. Dude, this tree is awesome. I've never seen a tree so mossy. It's over perfectly glass, glassy clear water. Doing like unplanned, unexpected stuff like this is what I love about just traveling or just life in general. Just uh, not being too stuck on a schedule, taking time to just do the random stuff. That's what makes you feel in the moment, and makes you enjoy life. This almost seems terrible to do, but. <laughs> Best urinal ever. Let's see what Desiree thinks. There was a tree almost entirely covered in moss, and I climbed it and peed into the river from above. It was generous of me. Just want to contribute to the ecosystem. Now you're drinking a little bit of his pee. Now, part of me is inside of you, <laughs> Tillamook, Oregon. It's gonna end up in the Tillamook cheese somehow. <laughs> oh. Think of that. Yeah. Next time you want a sandwich. That's right. We are in Tillamook, Oregon, and I just peed into the water system. Think of that every time you eat some Tillamook cheese. There's trace amounts. Trace amounts of MPP. <laughs> <laughs> what the? We get weird when we get tired. It's probably why we're always weird. Damn. 
This is the most bumpy road ever. What's it? Yeah, it did. Solid as a rock. I'm locking my camera gear into the canopy with the guard dogs. I'm really hoping that's okay. I should, I don't know, maybe I should just bring it with, but there's dogs in there. Mean, scary, loud barking dogs. I think so. It's the traveling circus, I keep telling you. Come here, hey, come here child. Show me that dinosaur. What are you doing? Rawr. <laughs> Oh, don't bite me, don't bite me. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. I'm having anxiety about leaving this here after what happened to us in Portland. If you didn't see that episode, it's in the Moab series. I'll tag that series at the end of this video so you can check it out. But we got robbed. I had this really cool looking setup. And basically the setup screamed robbed me. And now th I think this setup screams robbed me as well, if not worse. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay though. I'll sit there. You just keep going. Desiree picked out this uh, Chinese restaurant from Google, and from the outside, it looks terrifying. But inside, it looks like the classic Chinese restaurant that hasn't been updated since the 70s, which means it's gonna be delicious. If it's still in business and it looks like this, it's probably the best damn Chinese food in town. <laughs> Hold the flashlight to the ground so we can see. There you go. Oh no! <laughs> he threw. He throws it on the ground. Okay, hold it up so we can see the house. That was the funniest thing ever. Oh, we're finally home. It is past midnight. These are some tired kids. Watch out for that hole there. Dang, we got some packages. Dude, I wonder what Kate probably thinks of that. She's like, who the, who the fuck are these people? It's the size of you, Des. Look at those. These are actually, these are our really cool storage bins from Rome. Uh, they are Rome Adventure Co. They're like storage bins for my roof rack. And I have no idea what the rest of this stuff is. Dude, he was just freaking out and so tired, and now look at him. He just wants to eat cat food with the dogs. Cute, cute cat. He's so cute. <laughs> Let me vlog our way out of here so we can be done. Oh! Can't even describe to you how good it is to be home. Whew. That's what we love about these trips. It makes your house feel so awesome. Like, you know, when you live in your house for a while, you start to take it for granted. And then, well, when you go on these trips and you suffer a little bit and you come back and you're just like, ah, you remember why you bought your house and you love it. it feels really good to be home. We got to get all these kids up to bed, get the pets taken care of, get some showers and get some sleep. Before I go, I just want to say one last thing. I want to thank Tyler and his family for having us out. You guys are so accommodating. It was so nice to be there and meet all of you guys. Like everyone that was there, thank you so much. Uh, and thank you for bearing with us. Because I mean, I know that we weren't like in the highest of spirits after crashing the Can-Am. But seriously, they, they fed us. They took, a, they took good care of us. It was great. It was really awesome to make new friends. We had an awesome time despite the Can-Am rolling over. That just sucked. But... In all reality, it can be fixed. It's not a big deal. And I learned a lot. I mean, uh, I've, I've jumped dirt bikes off of sand dunes and it just responded a lot differently. I, I just, if I had thought it was going to be dangerous or sketchy at all, we would have filmed it. We, like, I literally thought it was just going to be like a, like a whoop, like something stupid. And we just freaking hucked it. Like, oh, I still feel so dumb. It would make it a little bit better if we had caught it on camera. Just a little bit better. All right, now I'm off to bed. Thank you. Oh, so please 
Check out Tyler's channel. Do me a favor. Do me a solid. I'm going to put up Tyler's channel in the end screen. So when this ends, you're going to see like a little M thing. And then Tyler's channel is going to be like right around here. Click that and subscribe, okay? He's going to be working on videos more frequently. I'm telling you right now, Tyler, you're watching this. You need to get on your videos because I'm telling my audience, they're coming for you. But uh, hey, go, go give him a sub. Make sure you hit that notification icon and a thumbs up button on both my videos and his and just support the crew, man, because we're, we're, we're all about having fun and, you know, breaking things and uh, inspiring you guys to push your limits and, and live, uh, live, live with a better attitude and less money. <laughs> all right. We'll see you later. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. No bedtime story, dude. It's like 1 a.m. We haven't been reading stories at the campground. Okay. I'm so tired, Sterling. I'm so tired, too. Yeah, well, then why are we reading a bedtime story and not just going to sleep? Pretzel. Pretzel.